long last, after three failed cloning attempts, we have returned original Keith. Not some knockoff Keith. Not some other world eater dragon named Terry. The original Keith in all his glory. Well, I mean, not really. I mean, he's uh, he's basically brain dead functionally right now. Um, so it's going to take him a little while to get back up on his feet. But my friends, we are not just going to end there with the return of Keith. They will fear Keith. Rise, Keith. Rise greater than you have ever risen before, my friend. Oh, Void will fear you. We can't make unfortunate. We, can, we can't make animal armor for him. Um, so I'll just go ahead and put a line under under that right away. Like, we, we, we can't do it. But we can turn him into Cyber Keith. A weapon to transcend even the strongest of Keiths. Doesn't really do a huge amount, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> and along with Keith, we will upgrade everybody. Yesterday, we've crafted, I don't know, eight, was it 18 advanced bonnet legs? 18 advanced bonnet arms. We can give them all the advanced bonnet eyes as well for the for the sight bonuses that will make them a bit more effective in combat. But this is going to be a huge upgrade just across the board, giving everybody a bonus 200% manipulation on top of 100% efficiency in each arm. This is massive. This is going to be absolutely huge. 370 there. She's still affected by anesthetic. That's advanced bionic arms, everybody. Let's go on to the legs now. We've got to be very careful. We don't have, like, half our colony under anesthetic and then a massive void raid like we have before. Otherwise, we're done for. Somebody said, and I'm not entirely sure how correct this is, so I need to test it, that if we use mutagenic shells on the void as they're coming through because they will grow animal limbs and if we use enough mutagenic shells they'll start growing animal limbs and, and animal body parts that can't support their barnics and that will not only render them basically useless but somebody said that their barnics actually pop off um as in they'll drop on the floor we'll see how that works um it, whether or not that does actually work doesn't matter if it doesn't it will still be a massive way of weakening them up <laughs> Look at him now. I hate the fact that that's a different color. Ah, oh, shit. Start again. Rip it, rip it all out. This boy, when he is back alive, my god, he will destroy all. We've got some cybernetic lungs for Keith's big dragony mouth. And on the subject of his big dragony mouth, we've got cybernetic dentures for him. 200% efficiency. That's twice the bite power. He doesn't have legs, but he has arms, which is concerning. Uh, yeah, no option to install legs at all, so we won't worry about that, I guess. <laughs> I kind of mentioned it yesterday, and that was the beta poly knives, giving everybody a really fast weapon, which will combo well with their bionics and with some of the drugs that we've got as well to make up. I mean, the damage is more than sufficient. We're just going to be able to get a lot more damage actually in. So we're going to go for that. What I forgot to do, though, was to disable magnetic coils from where we built a bloody fusion reactor yesterday. You know, as you do. So we do have uh, 33 magnetic coils that we don't need. And as a result, wasted a shitload of silicon. Uh, but it probably won't take too long to catch back up with that, to be honest with you. Especially not with this many this many machines running at once. Let me just make sure I've disabled it all over here as well. I've got beta poly being produced over that. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. So everybody is upgraded with the... The cybernetic arms and legs at this point. I'm not sure if it's worth going any further, especially for the void tech people. So basically everybody but C70, E64, and B75 have... How have you avoided my fancy arms, Xylo? Hey? Okay, well, that's not right. Let's go ahead and give Xylo some, some fancy arms. Um, it's not really worth it because they already have the Arcotech eyes, which are 150% efficiency versus 200% efficiency. Uh, unless it gives some other, unless it gives like sight plus a hundred or something ridiculous like that on the others. Just want to check everybody now, make sure I haven't missed any. Yeah, no, we're good. And obviously, Nilla is uh, going to be turned into a dragon at some point, so we'll ignore you. Yeah, let's take a look at those eyes. See if they give an efficiency bonus. Um, oh my god, they give a hundred percent sight each. Well, oh, let's a sec. Why are you so hideously, hideously overpowered? Look how fast they move, for God's sake. They were in full-on Siege Breaker armor, which comes with quite a hefty movement penalty, from what I recall. Uh, movement penalty, minus 1.1. With that and the speed skin suit added by Void and their cybernetics, it's like they're wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> nothing. The other comment I saw a lot yesterday was everybody saying make troll blood, which is apparently insanely good. It's 225 Mecha Knights, and to make Mecha Knights, we need obviously a lot of Neutramine, which relies on Dave to smash the console faster with his face. Dave doesn't have... Actually, no, Dave does have arms. 
His legs Dave doesn't have. Um, the only problem is he's not very efficient on account of him being a fucking dragon. So we might want to take Dave off of the oil and onto anywhere else. Cleaning. Dave, can you clean? Uh, Dave, Dave, Dave. Dave can clean. All right. Dave, I'm sorry. You're sacked. You're too slow. We should have someone else running the console. There we are. Is that, is, is that affected by their work speed? I don't believe it is. I think what we need to throw down is a few more neutramine refineries, really. We've got two drills. We've, we've, we've got no oil right now because I've got the cracker set to the highest possible because we've got the excess power. So we turn it into chem fuel. We actually haven't got any storage here. So we need to have more chem fuel storage and then we need to add more neutramine refiners. And in theory, that'll let us make those mechanites. Um, I guess we could throw some up here, seeing as this is all kind of a dead area right now. Oh, to those. Oh, look at this. A shaped piece of mutant eye with a handle for safe operation tends to mutate anybody on the receiving end of the blade. Dirty ingredients that I can stuff. Brother, you know I said how we can make a knife. We can make a fucking knife, all right. We can make a knife that cuts with the power of beta poly. And then when it actually gets through, turns him into a cow. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Throwing axe? I assume that doesn't work stuffed, does it? Ooh, we might have to test that. Um, somebody also brought the point that throwing knives might also work, but the jury's out on whether or not that's actually... Well, we'll try it with the throwing axe. Um, these, though. A knife that stabs you and turns you into a in, into a furry is incredible. Mutant spear? What do you think? Um, the, the, the knife has a higher DPS. Why would you ever pick the spear over that? Uh, or has a higher damage. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's just so much better. Fuck it. Fuck it. Give everybody one. Uh, with the exception of C70, who has his beta poly halberd. Um, so we need eight of those, right? Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're good. Right. No. <laughs> no. Right. Clear all. Beta poly. Now they are 30 ingredients apiece. So we can make uh, three of them. It's not ideal. Do you know? Because when I make the throwing axe as well to test that, we can make even fewer. Let's give it a go. Who's our best crafter? That would be Liz Beckworth. Go. Get him. Oh, man. That's going to take a while. Jesus, that takes a long time. What's her manipulation up to? She's got 505% manipulation. We've got three Glitternet advanced work speed integrators. Two of the smithing cabinets. A mechanic cabinet. A scientist cabinet. A tool cabinet. Every linkable. And it's still going to take fucking hell. Okay, throwing axe is done. Where did you put it? Give me that. Uh, throwing axe. This may be the only stoppable range weapon that works. Uh, equip it. Let's go fist and then equip. Let's go fist, then we equip. As the old saying goes. Right. And then axe, throw at you. 18. That clearly has not worked. <laughs> <laughs> it might work as a melee weapon, but 18 damage to a couch, probably not Probably not working as intended, eh? Um, we could probably take a look at the stats on that. Yeah, damage 18. That's the only thing that's taken into account there. Well, that's a shame. Melee damage per second has worked. All right, fair enough. It was, it was worth giving it a go. It's the same thing as the throwing knives in that case, that it doesn't apply to anything, but the it, it's essentially a melee weapon with a kind of ranged animation, so to speak, that's of a set value. Oh, this is where the... Where did you put it? Did you immediately yeet it into the eye port? This is where the fun begins. Give me a beta poly mutanite knife. Oh, this is high tier. Uh, E64, grab. Grab it. I need to go stab something with this. You, big chicken. What are you? Desert are they? Big chicken. Come here. Come here. I don't know if it works on animals, because they're already animals. Go. Nice. Destroy it. You cut his tail off. That's that's fucked. You, ju you just killed it before. I don't think it works on animals on account of them already being animals. But the damage is massive, eh? He's lost an ear. <laughs> no, it doesn't seem to. I thought I'd rather cruelly leave that one to bleed out and see if it had any effect. But no, it doesn't. Okay. Well, we'll see what Void have to, uh, have to throw at us. Hopefully, relatively soon we'll get a raid. I think the only issue is we push their settlements back now to the extent they can't actually reach us. Um, we could go and stab an Odin, which is one of those big old, big old mechanoid boys. We seem to drill more oil faster. We just need more oil drills, right? Is that an unrealistic thing to suggest? 
I don't know if we can walk over the oil drills. That's the only concern. Hang on. Can we get to there? Okay, good. Okay, good, good, good. Before I block up the front door then with more and more oil drills. Mainly because we're not doing anything with this room. That was obviously where we were cloning Keith. But we've got better than clone Keith. And that is, well, full on real Keith. Where is full on real Keith? Ke Keith? Keith, there you are. Look at him already helping out around the colony. What a fucking guy. <gasps> Look, permanent bonus leader. Is he the leader of Green Pack? Did he take control? Before we can go and stab the big mechanoid with a knife or anybody with the knife to see if the knife has worked, we do need that sin thread. So we've got this setup up here and I can't believe we've gone back to Rimmerfell after all this time. It's incredible that it's actually got this end game application as well. So let's get some more oil wells down and see if that's just enough to do it. Obviously, you have to finish drilling it first. I've got these ones set up. Um, let's get an oil pipeline down too because I think they're isolated from the rest of the... Yeah, they are from the rest of the system. We just do something like that and then pipe it through that wall. That should do the job. We'll put down a little extra just in case. We want sin thread and then, I mean, look, do until X or X is 200. Sure, why not? We do need 200 per ship, but we might as well just we might as well just get that shit. Dave, you're not allowed on the drill. We've been over this. Dave, you're fired. Resource, re resource. Dave, you're fired. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we're, we've offset the neutraming. To be fair, we're not actually producing any right now, but that's filling up pretty fast. So you know, we still haven't quite. Still haven't quite stopped that. The cap is draining pretty fast, too. Yeah, we haven't counteracted the amount of new training that we're refining right now. But how are we doing on the drug front, though? Still got no troll blood. We've got one seraphium. We're it's because we're still building that bastion first. <laughs> I can't believe we've reduced this, this red nebula dragon to a glorified cloning bot. That is incredible. There we go. Oh, it's 20 synthra per buffer cycle. That's a good amount. Okay, so we should have a spaceship done in no time then, eh? Um, let's go ahead and forbid that one because we've got... Yeah, we've actually got the new training put into that one. I don't want to top him one off and not the other. <laughs> no, not Dave. Dave, mate, what's the matter? <laughs> ah, a red nebula dragon meat. It's unsettling eating a raw. That could be me. When did you eat a red nebula dragon meat? What? I don't know where you got that from. Maybe, maybe it was part of him. So, the only thing we need left to uh, uh, work on Project Keith, which is a separate project to project, stab him with a with a knife coated in uh, furry juice, is we need the morph silk, right? With the morph silk, we can build the gene bank. With the gene bank, we can tag Keith. With Keith's DNA in the system, we can load void people into a mutagenic chamber, turn them into Keith, essentially. Uh, as the ultimate revenge for them uh, killing Keith originally. So, we need more silk. And and the problem with that is that the only way you get more silk is by turning somebody into, uh, in, in, into basically uh, an animal, right? And apparently the clothes that they're wearing at the time will produce more silk. It will turn into more silk when they fully transform. So here's what we need to do. I'm going to give you some Neurotonin so you can stand up. We're not going to name Nilla because it'll make it it'll make it harder when the time comes for him to turn into a goat or whatever. Right. You put on clothes. Anything you want with the exception of Alpha and Beta Poly. Right. That'll probably do it. So he's got a hat, a shirt, cloth pants, duster. Uh, We can make like some shoes or something, but we'll see how... Look, we don't need that much more silk. I just figured it's, uh, if we're doing this, we might as well get as much as possible. But we know we're going to get... Exactly what we need from that. So how do I mutate you? Ah. Uh, well, hello there. What, what's this? Are they building crosses here? Are they here to fucking crucify me? Could just stab him with our with our mutant knife, <laughs> which is cruel and inhumane. But if it works, it works. Wait, E six four has the uh, the mutant knife, right? Hello, right? Give him a, give him the old razzle dazzle. That actually hits him though. Whenever you're ready. Nice, got him. Right, that's it. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Just give him a few more. That's it. That's it. How are you looking? Uh, did it did it work? Uh, mutations. It's working. Stop. Stop. Stop, stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Right, you go over there. You go over there. Taste my beta poly. Yeah, go away. Okay. I was not. I was not nearly sufficient. How do I? How do I mutate them? Like like fully. I really don't remember how you do that. Is it like a the lab? We can make some sort of injection oh oh it's so powerful oh so we take that and then there's like a booster right or an accelerator oh greatly increases the likelihood of a pawn fully transforming hey that's what we're after R rgb um 
booster as well. Cow morph milk and chup morph egg, so we can't get those. What's the accelerator need? Mechanite slurry. Okay, and how do we make mechanite slurry? Do we not just get that from the ship, perhaps? We make it from chaos bulbs? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, okay. No more psychoid. Well, I do like psychoid. Okay, not no more psychoid, but like some psychoid. Uh, and then chaos bulbs. Where have we got? Yeah, there we are. I think this mechanoid ship will also provide adequate mutinite or, or mechanite slurry. So let's get that as well. Well, that's a lot of centipedes. Maybe I've bitten off a bit more than I can chew here. Uh... Maybe, 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 maybe some reinforcements. I'm not saying that we're beaten by any stretch of the imagination. I just want to, you know, expedite the process. Run. Fucking run. Okay, there we go. And then we take that and we eat it. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm not an expert on this. Um, oh, maybe that is it then. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. Uh, Muta. We never did this aspect of Paul Morpher. We always just did the kind of Muta. Uh, what's it called? Serum? Uh, pow powerful serum? Power power serum? What the fuck was it called? Hello? Mutant serum powerful. Well, where is... Maybe, maybe they've only just crafted it and they haven't put it in storage yet. Uh, ah, there it is. Got it, got it, got it. Right, okay. Uh, Nilla. Why are you not healed yet, you weird man? Like, good as new. So you now inject that. And then we've got an accelerator. Stabilizer. Oh my god, we've got boosters. We've got boosters. God knows where the hell we got those from. Okay, okay. Boom. And then... Take accelerator. Don't know if this is the right thing to do. I don't even know if the booster works in this particular scenario, but there you go. Right. How's that productive? Increasingly hungry. So to be able to... Okay. Mutation's output rate has been increased. Productive. Oh, that boosts the output from creatures that are already... Right. Production... So if you have a pawn that you can say, for example, milk, uh, that would that would work well with that, I guess. Working well is subjective. <laughs> uh, now what do we do then? So we, we did inject him with the animalistic sapien. Elephant morph. Changing. <gasps> yes. Become an elephant. Okay. Mutations. 5.6% ungulate. <gasps> there it is. Thick hide. <laughs> he's 94% uh, he's human. 2.8% uh, ungulate. And 2.8% uh, thick hide. <laughs> oh, that's... That's fucked. That's absolutely vile. I'm going to have to censor that. So, uh, I have to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> uh, no, it's the fact that uh, Void can't really attack us anymore. Because uh, they're on the other side of the fucking planet. Like, they can't reach us. So, I don't really know what we're supposed to do now, to be honest with you. Um, they're, they're attacking our settlements because I, I assume they're within range of that. Or they're sending their little warbands out that are attacking our settlements. And, well, that's it. <laughs> it's like, since that raid we had yesterday, there's been nothing. So I'm thinking, well, it's kind of the, uh, it's kind of the opposite of the planet here. I feel like, I feel like here-ish, isn't it? Why don't we just take a drop pod and drop pod our people here and start a new settlement in the middle of all their stuff. And in fact, we could, if I was brave enough, we could, we could just drop a regular settlement there. Um, drop a settlement there and just see if we survive it. It'll make it a lot easier to attack out into Void as well. Because if we're not fast enough, they're just going to settle as fast as we destroy them, right? Bored of waiting for this man to turn into an elephant. So we're, we're, we're changing things up. I'm just going to inject him with another, with another elephant syringe and see if that'll do it. You can make specifically an elephant syringe. So hopefully that'll speed things up. 14%. Is this the only way to get morph silt, really? We've got four more. We could just we could just take the lot. I don't, I don't think it'll speed it up at all. If anything, it might just kill him. But, I mean, what am I going to lose at this point, eh? We can make infinite of these because we have the Decay Evolves growing pretty much in the hydroponics all the time. So, did that help? 14%. Okay. <laughs> don't know if I've got the patience for this, Keith. I don't know if I've got the patience for this. Oh, hey, there we go. Right. So, who would I send out? I mean, it's got to be C70, right? We need fuel. Uh, what about the oil pipeline? Severed. Okay, fine. Well, let's do something like that then. Let's send C70 and absolutely nothing else. Done. Send him. And then we can use the settlements we've got to drop 
supplies off to to C70 food and whatever. And then from there, we can just put him in a little tiny base. If Void attack, he gets in the ship, he flies off, he circles back around, we settle somewhere else. All I need to test is the Mutant Knight bombings to see if that actually does transform them if, if we do sustain fire. Because I didn't really let it run long enough to really test it last time. Let's go ahead and launch. And let's get somewhere decently close to Void. Right in the center. I think like around here. There's their, their, their capital. So let's aim for like uh, in the mountains on a river. Seems like a pretty alright idea. Okay, that seems that seems pretty quick. Hey, that's a lot better. This also seems very 2D. <laughs> Sand lines again, really? You are no threat. Send Void. Get out of here, lion. <gasps> Global warming is ending. Wow, I never thought... It, I, I genuinely thought we'd probably finish this series before that finished off then. Okay, cool. Okay. Transport pods have arrived. Mobile caravan, but we can settle. I hope we get to keep our ship. Because that would suck. <laughs> if that because we obviously couldn't move around as a caravan with that. I don't know if it would just be in his backpack or they're just spawning in the world somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, good shit. Oh, this is nice. Wow. Okay, so we could... Uh, I suppose we'll just set up shop here. <gasps> Return to monkey. Hello. Have we got anything else? Is Shorty the monkey? There's Patricia the... M <laughs> I thought I said Patricia Moose. But no, that's definitely a tape here. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is nice. I forgot what it's like playing in, uh, in an actual map that isn't in hospitable landscape. Somebody, somebody write down Patricia Moose. I need to throw that on my list of incredible names to add into RimWorld series at some point. Oh, my God. The name of this colony is Compassion Cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Must be fate. O only can fate provide names that fucking good. Hey, Patricia Moose. Welcome, welcome. I figured he probably needed some, uh... Figured he probably needed some company out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, fuck off, Patricia. What's wrong with you, you big idiot? <laughs> oh, nature is just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I think that'll do. That should be enough to build a bed. <laughs> hey, there we are. We got Jaguar joining us now. And then, uh, did we tame the, tame the tiger? Oh, we failed taming the tiger. I just want him to have some friends. I want him to have some friends. Oh my god, animals can train other animals. <laughs> Good work, Patricia Moose. What a, what a fucking play. So it's even that Seven Zero is just living out here in paradise. But the second we've got the kind of foundation here, we're going to head out probably on foot. We could head out, I guess, in the, uh... We could head out in the Phoenix. There's no downside to that. The only problem is fuel. So we'd have to leave the base unattended for a little bit while we went back to the other base, refueled, and came back. Unless we've got oil here, we could drill. But that seems that is so good. That is so good. What are you? Ugly Keith. What the fuck is an Elder Destroyer Dragon? Wait, we had one of these turn up before, right? And we botched the tame on it? Okay, well, we'll give it a go. 14% elephant. I don't know what else I can do here. We've got it accelerated. I had him take six doses. I mean, how long are we supposed to wait? I'm almost tempted to cancel Project Keith because it's just not going anywhere. Oh, shit. Grandpa Keith. My God, we've got it. Fuck it. I'm all out of ideas. This has to work. Why won't he transform beyond 14%? It's like it's stuck at 14 for whatever reason. Well, maybe maybe because I gave him the productive? No. I have no idea. I, I really have no idea. Operation Keith is uh is officially paused. Uh maybe forever until I can figure out why they won't transform beyond 14%. Very weird. Make some progress against Void today. We can't just sit here building this perfect paradise base while Void is out there doing things, I assume. <laughs> hit the capital. I wonder what happens if we hit the capital. Drop in at edge. And then I want to try the mutagenic shells on them first. See if that actually works as I was told it works. That would be, uh, be quite interesting. Ah, oh, an impressive capital for Void. <laughs> right, okay. Now, obviously, we can't just send C70 and he will get ripped apart. We saw what happened to Liz Beckworth in the same gear. So let's go settlements. Let's go to our military tab here. And let's create a new fire support unit. 
Um, let's create a new one and let's just have it as only a set point reference from on a Terry here. 13,000. Let's go only mutagenic shells because we can fit a lot of mutagenic shells into 13,000 points. Yeah, like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. Maybe that's not, maybe that's too many. Well, couldn't hurt. We might as well we might as well go all in, hey? Uh oh my god, we could fit even more. <laughs> 40 seconds of sustained mutagenic shells. Wow. Okay. Let's drop a few down here. There we are. Perfect. See, before I fire it, let's go back to the military tab a second and let's go ahead and increase the radius. Uh let's do like 25 blocks. Because we're firing so bloody many that we might as well try and hit uh, the biggest, you know, uh, diameter possible. Let's go mutagen. And let's drop it like, like there. Right in the epicenter. Oh. Oh my god, it's actually working. They're transforming, all right. They're also firing at uh, C70. Move back off a little bit there. Is it, is it working, though? Is it working as intended? Their bionic should be being destroyed and being replaced with, with animal limbs. Emphasis on should be. He's trying to build it moderate. You know, I think quite the opposite is happening. I think they're not actually losing any... Anything that is... Yeah, see, I, I don't think anything that is already a bionic can be transformed, which makes a lot more sense. Okay, so all we've done is just kind of give them, I mean, more bonuses, potentially. So we'll change the plan a little bit, I think. And, uh, just kind of tidy things up. <laughs> we should we should try and take them without, without using that, because I think the anti-grain warhead rain is going to be way too strong. Like, way, way, way too strong. Granted, it was always the, the point, right? So you touch my ship, you die. My animals can't feed themselves. Sir, please stay away. Okay, okay. Now it's become defend the ship. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's a lot of them, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Shit. Careful. Careful. He's lost an arm. No, he hasn't. He's fine. He's just decided to sort to a log. Okay, this is... Okay, now, now we need help. Now we need help. Now we need help. Military? Uh, who can we call him from here? Farmers. Bring him in. <laughs> Wait, we can make farmers slightly stronger now, can't we? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Help me, farmers. For God's sake. Transforming them into animals didn't do anything, unsurprisingly. Okay, okay. Draft up, draft up. Are they... Are their shields... Oh my god, the shields don't come online until they're drafted. So they've got a few seconds of vulnerability every time we drop in. Shit. Okay, no, don't get into a... Don't get into a melee fight with someone who's got a bloody chainsaw, you fool. Okay, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. That's it. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice, nice, nice. There's another one. Oh, what a mess. Granted, we could have killed them instantly if we used the, um... Say hello to Jeebus for me. If we'd have used the, uh, mutagenic... Uh, sorry, not mutagenic. The, uh, the anti grain warheads. But I feel like it's not really in the spirit of things. Well, maybe it's in the spirit of things. I suppose Void do deserve it. This is for Keith. Oh, God. They've got a chainsaw. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Okay capital destroyed. What's the implications of that? As far as I can tell, not a lot. <laughs> the only problem with that is... Oh god, I thought we just started transforming then. The only problem with that is that it's one of, what, 23 settlements to go? Not really ideal, is it? It's not It's not the fastest way to deal with them. Then we'll head over to A3. We'll drop a uh, an anti-grain volley on them as fast as possible, and we'll try and contain their... their their perimeter. Try and push it back as far as possible. Push it closer and closer to our base so that caravanning out is a bit more is a bit more feasible. Because they, I mean, they cover a good uh, I mean, 70% of the planet. Oh my god, no. Well, that's absurd. Okay. Yeah, sure, why not? How about that? 13.5 seconds of only anti-grain warheads. I'm only doing this because I think it'll be an interesting to see at least one time, right? 97,000 silver that's going to cost us. I, in, in theory, I mean, with the radius like that, it will wipe their entire base off the off the earth. That's it. They're, they're, they're fucking gone. Goodbye, Void. Nice knowing you. Oh, look at all these nice things that we're going to waste. What the hell is even that? Nanotech medicine? I don't even think we have the opportunity to craft that. 17 rodent muta serum. 
Grizzly Bear Mutant Serum. Wow, wait. Oh god. They seem to have very much just survived that. Okay. Again, very impressive from uh, from Void to walk off 13 seconds of, again, sustained sustained fire there. Um, I'm not a big fan of you smashing my ship up. Hey, fuck off. Okay, farmers. In we go. Why are they still called farmers? <laughs> did, did, did we ever have a reason for that? I'm not entirely sure. With this many numbers, we might just be able to hold it down. Now, if we can do this with all of our people... So every single settlement dropping their own squad of, you know, a bunch of naked people or whatever else, led by one of our elite characters, we should be able to do this. This this, this is genuinely our, our win con, I think. Just holding back Void through through sheer numbers. Completely turning the, turning the tables on them. Okay, keep, keep your distance. Keep your distance. That's all I ask. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Right. They're using our ship as cover, which is just fucking rude. Be careful. Oh my god, we almost killed our own ship. Holy crap. Okay, okay. Kill that one. Then kill that one because it's ripping our people apart. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 go. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, now you die. They're fleeing. Oh, that's one of our people, I think. I might have accidentally just fired up. Well, whatever. We might kill Void in the process. Get him. Finish him off. Go, go, go. These Void weapons that they've got just cannot... I mean, they can't even get through their own armor. What are you? Hello? Right, be careful. Be careful. Oh, please. No, 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 no. Stop firing. Stop firing. Well. <laughs> a little bit stranded there, pal. Oh, for fuck's sake. I used our ship as cover. How does that even happen? Well, C70 has a long walk home. Thank you, everybody. Good work. Go on, off you go. Start, start walking. Now C70 can't move because he's carrying too much. Oh, you're joking. Uh, dr like, drop that. Like, like get, get, I mean, we're going to have to leave the helmet behind. There you go. What a fucking mess. Only another 19 salmons to go, for fuck's sake. Come on. Tomorrow, I think we will work on finally bringing this war to a close. We've got everything we need. It's just a case of can we now outpace Void's expansion? That's all it comes down to. Have we upgraded our settlements enough? Have we got... We, we need to build some ships. I don't think we'll maybe build the Phoenix because they're too expensive. We'll just build a bunch of the cheaper ships possible. And we'll get our people out into the world. Even maybe using the super pods or something like that. Speed is awful on that. Not that it really matters too much. Let's just get a bunch of these out there. And let's just... Let's just get... I mean, speed is... Uh, and time is of the essence here. The question is... Will we actually lose anybody? Will anybody be defeated by Void at the... At the final hurdle here? Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have uh, have enjoyed whatever the hell we did today. I'm not entirely sure if we achieved anything at all, to be honest with you. C70 got to start a farm. Maybe that's good enough. Thank you in the meantime to the executive producer tier patrons, including Udric, Nero Nightshade, Lores Quail, El Scorchio82, The Thick Mix, Zetlock, Retile, Plumby, Emily, KQ the Magic Flying Velociraptor, Gibbering Mound, Kish, Dr. Bubba, and Siala as well for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. No, Patreon. Fucking I retire. Thank you for your support over there. Thank you as well to Alex Schultz, Lanigan, a good chunk of Balsa, Mark, thanks for the loan, Bojo, Atreus Sen, Lilac, Mr. Awesome, Kumbi, Atreus Sen, Astros fan, one, two, three, four, five, and Smart One. <laughs>